My name is Kira Wardlow, and I'm so excited to be beginning my college journey here at Wellesley. Like most first years, I also have a lot of questions. Wonderful. I'm always bragging about it to my friends. English is such a broad uh, discipline at this point. We have an incredible curriculum, which spans everything from Chaucer to uh, contemporary uh, American novel. Shakespeare I've taken, modern uh, British literature I've taken, a class on 19th century romance novels, and then um, also I'm taking lit theory now. And there's Asian American literature, and there's so many seminars on different topics. My experience reading Shakespeare as a non-English major was probably one of the best experiences I've had at Wellesley. I actually ended up liking Romeo and Juliet, which I did not go into the class expecting to do, but the professor really made me believe in true love. Well, I tell my students that if we don't read these poems, nobody will. And if long enough goes by without anybody reading them, they won't exist for all intents and purposes. So when you think about just the glories and riches and abundance of the poetry, either in our recent past or going right back to the beginning of the, um, of the English language, those writers depend on readers. I always make students memorize the opening lines of the Canterbury Tales. It will belong to you in a way that it belongs to anyone who memorizes it, but that it also belonged to the original author when they created it. It will become part of your own language. One of the things that teaching medieval literature and its connections with the concept of race does is it points up how relevant medieval literature remains to students' everyday lives. Last night I was, I was reading um, The Glass Menagerie and I was up, I didn't realize that I was up until 3 a.m. reading it because it was so good. <laughs> They are really what make um, each class so special. One research project that I'm working on now has to do with the earliest reception of Don Quixote, Cervantes' long narrative work, in England. No one should leave the Wellesley English Department, or Wellesley at all, without visiting the rare books room where I'm sitting, where we have an incredible collection, even for any kind of institution, but particularly for an institution of our size. I think especially the English Department is very strong with its professors. Um, they're really dedicated and committed to your personal development as a student and a human being. The reading of literature involves the whole person. And the moment when students start keeping something out, you know, a passion, a reservation, a ethical principle, a religious experience. That's the death knell for a full experience of literature. Every book I read is like an adventure I take with two different people or three different people who go off and experience something wonderful and I get to tag along. I feel like art and English gives me life. I like especially reading when I'm particularly stressed or feeling very emotional because it helps me to kind of have a broader perspective of everything. The poetry of Chaucer is as relevant today as it was when it was written in the 14th century and that uh, beyond that it's just spectacularly breathtakingly beautiful to listen to. The personal journey has been a lot of self-reflection and um, personal growth. Anybody, no matter what they do in their career, needs to have a soul, needs to understand themselves as having an essence and an inside as well as an outside. And I think what poetry does is create and tend our interiors. I'm a double major with history and English. I had intended to be an English minor originally, but sort of just uh, fell too much in love with the department. One of the things I really like about English is that it, it does allow for that kind of interdisciplinary approach, and I think that's something that um, a lot of professors here really encourage. What drew me into literary study really was just pure love. English seemed to me to be a discipline that embraced other traditions, other materials, other um, critical approaches into it. For me, choosing English as opposed to choosing Spanish or, or com uh, comparative literature was in some ways a political choice because not only did I fall in love with the, um, you know, with the modernist, English modernists uh, and American modernists, but also um, as a Dominican American, I feel like I have an interesting story to tell that you can, um, that your, your passions don't have to be defined by your identity, but they can also be informed and enriched. Turning to medieval literature and medieval English in particular made me 
a better reader of English on the whole. Taking English courses and feeling like I've really come into my own and discovered my own ability to express myself and communicate with others has been uh, a really incredible aspect of being an English major. I don't think it's a hard sell. I think students just need to be in the presence of really powerful old texts in order to feel their magic. There are lots of opportunities to pursue creative writing and I have gotten so many opportunities and so much encouragement from my English professors, especially in the creative writing department. It's really great that you get to incorporate so many different styles of creative writing here and the classes are wonderful and, and um, they are a constructive group of students and so it really offers a lot of feedback and you, get, you learn a lot. We have uh, wonderful inter internships with prestigious poetry journals like Agni, which is one of the most prestigious journals in the whole world of publishing. I get to use my creative writing outside, um, outside of school at um, a magazine. It's called Boston Common Magazine. On campus, I work with um, a publication called Change Magazine. The Wellesley Review um, is, I mean, is one of Wellesley's um, several student-run publications. <laughs> Can really do anything with it. I think um, I'd been thinking about law school for a little bit of time um, or journalism or um, working for the United Nations or something like that. I think English really prepares you for anything. I also, it's my dream to be able to write screenplays <laughs> actually. I found myself in Washington DC editing and producing websites. After that I uh, spent a little bit of time kicking about out in, here in Los Angeles and uh, wrote a couple of novels. And then I moved over to the uh, Television Academy, where I am, where I am currently uh, CFO and head of business operations. I graduated with an English major in 1998, and now I do casting for movies. For me, being an English major is about understanding and communicating with other people. I learned to write and to think analytically and critically, and to draw conclusions and to draw conclusions really thoughtfully and deliberately. Every poem was a puzzle, for example, and oftentimes a history and a psychology lesson. I am now a strategic partner development manager at Google, working on an app called Google Play Newsstand. I'm the founder of my own startup in New York City. I think we are offering something that more skills-based courses and disciplines do not offer, something to enhance a life in addition to something to qualify one to do a good job. And then to an incoming freshman that wants to be an English major, I would say, yay, do it, it's wonderful. Um, I don't know how this like major is even allowed to, to be a major. It's too, too much fun. I think I'm ready.